okay um hello and welcome to this very short tutorial um in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to set up um graphql on postman um well i'm doing this because still then it's a current issue I, I was having i don't know if anyone else um might have been having the same issue pushing to to heroku um and when you try to do that it gives you a set git to and it gives you a link and that doesn't work so a workaround i actually did for that was to um push from um um git desktop and that quite actually worked for me so um you, you can try that out but, but for this tutorial i'm going to show you how to set up heroku how to set up um, GraphQL on your postman. So what you do first is to head over to your Heroku and then uh, head over to settings. This is just a domain project I'm actually working on. So I just use it for this um, demonstration. Um, after deploying to Heroku, of course, uh, this actually shows you that you have some data on on this um, on this host or this repo I don't know what to call it better but anyway um, after doing that I just want to point this out as well that you should I'm using MongoDB so you have to set your variables here if you store your um, variable if you store your database um, URL in the .env file and so you set you set um, the database URL here and then the link you set it here and also then you just head down straight here and this is the link so what you want to do is to copy this link right and head over to postman so i'll i'll delete this so that i can start from the beginning and show you how to get it done um so the next thing you want to do after deleting that i just let it finish deleting okay great is to come over to let me just take this out so it doesn't um look a bit confusing okay great it's off. so what what you want to do when you when you head over is to come to new right click on new click on apis then let's name this um right see graphql right just in the white graphql that's youtube graphql and give it a version of 1.0 and then you want to convert to schema type and click on graphql right just leave this as it is right and then you click on create api Let's give it a moment to get to create and then once it's done you click on close now this is where you set you you set the schema right where you set the schema you have actually um created so just click on this head over to definitions and you can see that some um schema has already been created here and what you want to do is to head over to your project so just head over to mine here and come to your type definitions and then copy everything except for the backstroke right copy it down to your type user and then come back to postman and then paste it paste it do not paste on the schema right just replace all of this here and then click on save so once you've clicked on save now head over to on the right here you see generate collections so click on generate collections click on test the api then let's give this api name uh, we call this yt test sorry yeah, IT test and then generate and then it just take a little second you see to see collection generated and then you can see see them here right you can see all the mutations right and all and the queries right so um, for example you want to test it out let me just test out this one you click on um, when you click on it it will bring out the URL Oh, sorry that's a url no <laughs> it bring out the mutations right the mutations you, you need you, you everything will be set out for you right all the mutations and what you want to do is now head back to you want to head back to Heroku. now we'll copy this link right and then paste it here as the url so remember to click on body to get this option so then when you come here and then you can just click on uh then you can fill in the information right to start testing out your api you click on send here it should now give you the response that you actually need for this one it says that it is null because i did not fill in any data but then um when you've had something there you just do that and then it, it just works as as it should so i hope this helps you and if it does please like this video and click on the subscribe button thank you